Hey, movie lovers and citizens of Earth, welcome back to a special Canada Day weekend edition of Extra Entertainment Extra. Terry Hart's toddled off back to TMN, but joining me in the studio, we have two guests I'm really excited about. Uh, Fadi Hakim is the executive producer and president of the Captain Canuck Organization. I want to make it sound uh, like it's a, like a superhero organization. The it's, secret it's, layer of uh, Cap- you could say the Captain Canuck Club. The Captain Canuck Club, and uh, Richard <clears throat> Cumley, who created Captain Canuck uh, forty years ago. Uh, okay, thirty nine. Thirty nine. <laughs> and the Captain Canuck Club. And the Captain Canuck Club. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, Richard, before we we switched <clears throat> on the microphones, we were talking that I had interviewed you about twenty years ago uh, for Captain Canuck Reborn. And w- even then, the character had been around for a long time. So let's go right back to the very beginning. It's the early 70s. There is no Canadian superhero. There had been the odd one here and there in comic book form, but you wanted to bring something back. Well, <clears throat> I don't think there had been really anything. Um, it, it all really started in 1971 when I met Ron Leishman at church. Mm-hmm. And uh, we would get together and... Uh, he would say we were both artists, cartoonists, um, um, and he said, you know, there should be a Canadian superhero. And we, we talked about it, and uh, um, we, we talked about it often. Mm-hmm. And uh, about 1973, we got really serious about it. And that's when we decided on the name Captain Canuck. Uh, there, there had actually been a few Captain Canadas. I think there had been about four, and one of them had moose horns. And, <laughs> and so it, that had s- <laughs> spoiled it. And, and, and drank maple syrup yeah. as fuel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and uh, it wasn't until 74 that I really started to do some work on the whole project, and the first issue came out in 1975. And, you know, that's uh, at the time because it was an independent comic book that you were releasing, right? So what was it? I mean, was it a, a, a sense of a stirring sense of national pride or was it uh, you saw a hole in the marketplace or what was it that, that brought you to that? Both and more, yeah. actually. Uh, but the, yeah, there was there was a void to be filled. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I think our timing was good. We, we didn't know our timing was going to be good. And uh, um, by that time, Ron was serving a mission in France, and so we got to see it from a very a far distance, so to right. speak. You know what I mean? And uh, but <clears throat> when um, when I started, I mean, I I really didn't know even that much about comic books. Mm-hmm. I I had worked as a graphic designer. I'd worked as a crest designer. I'd done fashion styling or fa- or clothing design, I should say. And <clears throat> this was a new w- world to me. I had to learn a lot and. Uh, in, in the beginning, I you know p- people ask why you know why didn't you talk to Marvel or, or DC mm-hmm. and n- never crossed my mind to be honest with you. Right. I I had a meeting with an an executive from Harlequin magazine, uh, a Harlequin Romance, excuse me, <clears throat> and they were interested. Somebody came from from Toronto to Winnipeg where I was based and. Uh, they took me to lunch, and they were definitely interested. And I, I might have gone with them, and I might, I might have come to Toronto much, much sooner in my life. Right. Uh, but um, I had a, an accountant friend who talked me into uh, setting up my own publishing operation because he told me I could get lots of government money <laughs> to, to do that. <laughs> That's what they all say. Yeah, yeah. I got, I, I didn't get a dime in the end and, right. after lots of trying, you know. <clears throat> so. That was the beginning. We're going to come back and and touch on that a little bit more, but let's jump forward 40 years, 39, excuse me, 39 years later. And (laughs) Fadi, you are are now uh, the executive producer of the Captain Canuck uh, web series. There is a movie uh, planned uh, just a couple of days ago. There was a big article in the Toronto Star about uh, called Truth, Justice, and the Canadian Way that's all about all the exciting things that are happening with Captain Canuck right now. Absolutely. Um, all around Canada Day, too. I wonder why. <laughs> I met Richard about three years ago. I have a restaurant called Lakeview. Yeah. And um, so we actually met in the restaurant. I have I've created this sandwich, a pea bacon sandwich, and I called it the Captain Canuck. I've enjoyed the Captain Canuck well, at the Lakeview. Yes, yeah. right. <laughs> I've enjoyed that sandwich. Intro. <laughs> <Yeah. right. laughs> so basically, then it came time to create a kid's menu, and I said... Sheesh, it would be great if, if the kids if kids could actually be be uh, coloring in Captain Canuck. So I contacted him. He actually contacted me back, which was incredible. And then it, we just started to talk. And then and was it always? I mean, it, when did it blossom from being 
you know, a, a, a cartoon cutout on a menu to being a web series and a film and, and all that sort of thing. Well, I mean, the the rights to the film are actually owned by Mind's Eye Entertainment. We're not involved in those. But as far as the animation is concerned and all, all of the other stuff as far as the merchandising and that sort of thing, I mean, it's such a strong identity. Um, it just kind of fell out of uh, just... just the the country's eye for a little while. Right. I kind of always wondered about it. Um, very strong identity though, and and it, it's kind of been somewhat really easy to actually uh, corral all the all the all the really loyal fans from back in the seventies, which is which is actually quite fantastic. Um, you know, just sort of things like we just did a just uh, we just did a distribution deal with Turkey Hill Sugar Bush, who does maple syrup. So you're right. finding Captain Canuck. Uh, maple syrup and can- Canadian duty freeze. Wow, that sort of thing. That's yeah. cool. So and 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 that's kind of the identity, and you know that's 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 kind of what we kind of want to bring to the new generation. So one of the first things that we did after that was we started to envision exactly what you know what 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 the revamp of Captain Canuck would be like. Right. And so it enlisted uh, Dean Henry and Paul Gartner as creative directors, who then enlisted uh, Kalman Antrazovsky, who who just basically reimagined the hero. Right. And here we are. Well, and you've raised money in an interesting way for this project. It was an Indiegogo campaign, a Kickstarter campaign. And we've been hearing a lot about these in the last couple of years. Uh, I guess most famously, Zach Braff raised money. But Absolutely. loads of, of, of other independent artists and things use this as a way to raise money for projects. And you were very successful. Were you surprised at the amount of enthusiasm that came your way? You know, yeah, it's always surprising, right? I mean, at, at first, I was, you know, I would tell Richard, come on. You know, this this is an incredible identity. This should yeah. be doing so much more. We could do so much more with it. And of course, you're kind of thinking, oh well, is it, is this going to translate? But it really did. It was. Yeah. It's been fantastic. Like our yeah, all the social like the social media has been fantastic around it. Uh, the Indiegogo campaign was incredibly successful. Mm-hmm. I was really really happy with it. Everybody kind of came about. Richard, how do you feel right now? Thirty nine years later, and and things are really. Like chugging along in a way that that they haven't in the past always for the character. No, I, I you know, it's all just uh, it it it's interesting how timing uh, of of all of these events is, has been. I, I think of uh, George Freeman and Claude Saint Domingue who worked with me on the original series, and <clears throat> I was a one man show, literally a yeah. one man show in the beginning. I didn't uh, it, the first two issues by myself. George Freeman came along when I was working on issue number two. And uh, and I think Claude came along when we were working on issue number three, and they literally just showed up at my door, and they're both terrific artists and and you know forever friends kind of thing mm-hmm. now, and <clears throat> the timing of them coming on board and helping me, and then Fatty coming along too, it just. Uh, to me, you know, obviously being a, a religious person, I I think sometimes there's more to it than just happenstance. Right. You know what I mean? And. Um, no, I, 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 somehow it, it just seems to be the way it should be happening, I guess. I mean, it, what's, what was interesting, you interviewed me, uh, you, you, you say 20, 20 years ago, 20 years 93. Ago. Now, yeah. there, there's all kinds of little interesting numbers here. Uh, when I did, when I wrote the... the you know what, let's touch on that when we come back. Okay. In the next segment, Richard Comley, Fadi Hakim, uh, executive producer and the creator of uh, Captain Canuck, soon to be seen as a web series. We'll tell you all the details when we come back on Extra Entertainment Extra. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to a little extra entertainment, extra movie lovers and citizens of Earth. I'm Richard Krauss. Uh, joining me in studio, Fadi Hakim. He's the executive producer and president of the Captain Canuck Club. Yes, sir. Yes, Absolutely. And, and Richard Cumley, who created the character 39 years ago. Uh, Richard, the character is now next to be seen as a uh, character on a web series, a, a Captain Canuck web series. And actually, on Monday, July 1st at the Silver Snail in Toronto, there's going to be a screening of the first episode ever. This is exciting. It's very, very, very exciting, Richard. I've read the script. Yep. I've seen the roughs. Uh, it looks very, very good. Um, yeah, no, we're all excited. Doors are open at 5. Greening's going to be at 7. I would imagine get there early because I think there's going to be a lot of people there. I'd say absolutely get there early. I mean, the snail closes at 5. Right. Um, yeah, but... Get there at 5 we'll to definitely 5. Definitely be there. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. <laughs> now, uh, the, the character's been reinvented a number of times. Richard, tell me a little bit about sort of the trajectory of... Of Captain Connect, because frankly, you know the the character you you reinvented him. It seems like every twenty years at least, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, I, I, you know, started in seventy five, 
And um, in, well, and that first, what we call the original series, ended about 81. Right. And that wasn't even a smooth run, totally. Uh, I started it again in 93. And what what's kind of interesting about ni- 1993 is back in 75, I was writing uh, about Captain Knuck in the future, in the relatively near future, and I set the date as 1993. Right. And, and, and I... <clears throat> You know, and 1993 seemed hard to imagine back then. And well, anyways, it was an in, interesting coincidence that I started Captain Canuck Reborn mm-hmm. in 1993, and I started a newspaper strip uh, in '95, and that's the year that the postage stamp came out. Right. What has kept you coming back to the character? Well, a, a lot of it has just been fans. I mean, I've done other things. I've done children's books and advertising and greeting cards and and even video production and all kinds of other stuff and. Uh, but no, I mean, I, it's never left my system, I guess, really. Uh, and I've always wanted it. Uh, the potential has always been there. There's always been a, a, a very loving fan base. But it's very difficult uh, to, to publish and to, and to produce uh, this kind of a project in Canada. And right. it has a lot to do with the, the size of the country and the size of the population and where we're located, right beside the big, the big guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, it's interesting, mm-hmm. Fadi, because as Canadians, uh, we tend to be a little bit more quiet about our patriotism than perhaps our, our friends to the south. And, uh, you know, when you decided not only that this was going to blossom as to something beyond a caricature on your on your menu, uh, did you keep any of that in mind? Did you did you think, oh, Captain Canuck, it, it seems like a, uh, from another time at all? <laughs> I bought the comic book when I was six years old, mm-hmm. six or seven years old at a comic book stall. It was the first the, it was the first comic book I ever bought with my own money. Right. And I still remember t- looking at the cover, and it was just so vivid, and there was that Canadian flag. And yeah. remember, I got to choose anything I wanted for the first time ever, and I chose that one. Um, I think that um, Canada, comic book-wise, superhero-wise, doesn't have... Uh, doesn't have an identity as far as superheroes are concerned and I think Captain Canuck is the one it's the one from 75 is the one that uh, that everybody will hands down say is is the Canadian superhero that's kind of what we're kind of what we're building on when we come back on a little extra entertainment extra we're going to talk about the web series uh, the casting of the web series and where you'll be able to see it stay with us Hey, movie lovers and citizens of Earth, welcome back to Extra Entertainment Extra. I'm Richard Krause. Joining me in studio, we have the people that are bringing Captain Canuck back to a screen near you. Richard Cumley, who created the character 39 years ago, and Fadi Hakim, who is the executive producer of the web series, also president of the Captain Canuck Club, of which I have a very cool mug that you that you <laughs> so thoughtfully brought for me, and I'm so thrilled to have it. It's going to take a place of honor in my house. Um, so you've got some cool people working on this from Lost Girl Paul Amos. We heard his voice in the last segment as uh, kind of uh, an evil villain. Absolutely. Uh, and so tell us a little bit about casting this. For sure. Um, Chris Holden Reed is uh, voicing Captain Canuck. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Great, great, great talent. I mean, he sounded amazing in the studio. And he's just cur- he's currently filming Lost Girl as well. Right. Um, Paul Amos, who's also, who plays Vex on Lost Girl, um, is playing the fiendish Mr. Gold. Um, a bit of Captain Canuck's nemes- nemesis. Right. I mean, he's one of the nemesi, but uh, he's the one that's... that's <laughs> nemesi uh, the is nemesi. a great word. That's a real word, actually. <laughs> is it? it up. No. <laughs> <laughs> it is now. Right on. Um, and we have Laura Vandervert, who's uh, playing Blue Fox. Um, in the original series, uh, Blue Fox was a male. Right. Um, we've... Kalman Andrzejewski has actually turned her into a female, along with Dean Henry and Paul Gartner, of course. Um, and Laura Vandervert is actually filming Bitten right now for the Space Channel. Um, she was uh, she's pretty well known for Supergirl on Smallville. Right, right. And also Tatiana Maslany, which is one of my favorite is, she's actors. She's Emmy oh, nominated. Man, she is she is going to break phenomenal. out and be such a huge star any second now. Totally. Star yeah. of Orphan Black, and boy, what a talent. Like yeah. uh, We patched her in from L.A., and... Man, it was just, it was fantastic. Yeah. It was eight in the morning for her too, and she could just belt it out. It was just, it was, it was a <laughs> lot of fun. And as well, um, what we're trying to do is to kind of do like a, a bit of a cross media thing uh, with the web series where we're you know, lionizing Canadians. So AJ Fry from the Space Channel is being featured as himself, yeah. um, so if, you know, kind of coming from uh, doing a thing on Inner Space on 
you mm-hmm. know, on the screen. And as well, music is going to factor into this heavily. So there will be a, a Canadian band featured in every episode. And the first is already, it's Platinum Blonde. That's amazing. So yeah, yeah. Mark Holmes was in the studio, actually. He and Richard met uh, yeah. when they were kind of doing their voices for the first episode. And yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun, a ton of fun. That's really fun. Uh, Richard, uh, we've just got a couple of minutes left. You know, after 39 years, how does this all make you feel? Well, <clears throat> you know, obviously I'm I'm pretty excited about the animated series and I'm mm-hmm. and the way things have come together. Uh and by the way, I had to say my little part about 22 times and uh, <laughs> uh and, and, and I and Fatty walked in and he said it once and uh, I mean, you know, here we go. But uh no, it, no, it's it's all working out very well. I mean, there's lots of other things uh, coming down the pipe. Yeah. We're going to announce some other big things at the Fan Expo, which takes, which begins here in Toronto, August the twenty second to the twenty fifth, I believe. Yeah, and we're going to have our own Captain Canuck booth there. Yep, I'm going to be there the first three days, uh, all the time. There'll also be a panel as well, uh, set up for Captain Canuck with the cast and the crew. Um, And we're actually that's when we're going to be releasing the second episode, as well as making another um, announcement. Right, and how many episodes do you envision? I mean, or is this this is as many as the, as the people I, want? Right? Yeah, the idea is is that the as far as the webisodes, the the web content is concerned, the web content we'd like to turn into a, a series for television. Yep. Um, but uh, the webisodes actually give us the give us a chance to actually um, you know putz around with the um, the story arcs and all of that right. sort of thing, and introduce new characters. If they stick, then we'd move them to the series. That right. sort of thing. Yeah. And where on the web do we find Captain Canuck? CaptainCanuck.com. It couldn't make it any easier. Or the YouTube channel. Or the YouTube yeah. channel. Well, yeah, check that Captain out. Canuck. They will be online as of Monday, July 1st. Is that right? Absolutely. Canada Day. Yep. 7 well, o'clock p.m. Makes sense. It, it totally makes <laughs> sense. Richard Cumley, thank you so much. Fadi Hakim, uh, best of luck with this. Thanks uh, so it's much, It's a cool Richard. project and 39 years in the making. Yes. <laughs> Happy Canada Day, everybody. <laughs>